People always ask, why Tambolo? So I, my grandma actually gave me this idea. I started a travel company, and she was like, oh, name it Tambolo. So if you come on any of our trips, we go on excursions around Africa. So if Tambolo bites you, you want to travel with us. So that's the name. So we decided to make um, a story about Tambolo exploring Nigeria. I, know, I don't know how many people have explored Nigeria here, besides Lagos. Who has been outside Lagos before? Where, where have you been to? To the south, where in the south? Oh, wow, you're a tourist. Nice. Where have you been to? Ogo State. Where in Ogo State? Okay, so we're going to learn about something here in Ogo State. So let's start. All right. Um, we're sharing a few copies. Um, you can decide to open them. It's a picture book so that you can see as we read. So I'll start and then... So we're on the first page. Can we all see? Yes, okay. So let's start. Tambolo's face lit up like the beautiful sun when her parents told her she would be visiting Nigeria. Yay, she said, jumping up. She had heard so many great stories about this wonderful country from both her parents and grandparents. She had always wanted to visit her homeland, Nigeria. Nigeria was the giant of Africa, blessed with human and natural resources. She had, all to, she had told her mom, mama many times, I want to go to Nigeria. So we're on the next page. And then her mom will say, one day, honey, one day. One day, honey, one day, her mother always said, Tambolo did not have to wait any longer. The day had finally come for her to go to Nigeria, and she was so excited. So we can all see Tambolo in Nigeria. This is our airport. Is this how our airport looks? Who has been to the airport before? Who has been to the airport before? Okay. Is this how it looks? Yes. Kind of, right? Yes. Is this one finer? Yes. This one is nicer. So, uh, it's the same, Abby. Okay. <laughs> so, Nigeria was home to many inventors, innovators, and pace setters. Her parents showed her a paper that had the names of the places she would visit called an itinerary. Your first stop is National Theatre in Lagos, Papa said, as she packed her bags. So who has seen National Theatre before? Do we know where it is? Where? Surilere, nice one. So I'm sure you always see, but have you ever wondered what goes on there? What, what, what do you think goes on there? Watch movies. Okay, so let's learn more about it today. The National Theatre Tambolo repeated, to Tambolo, it sounded like a really big place. Her parents gave her the itinerary, and off she went to explore this great country. When she got there, Tambolo saw that it was really big. This place can seat 5,000 people, the tour guide told her. So do, did we know that it could fit 5,000 people? We didn't know that, right? So write that down. When you get to school, you tell them that, fun fact, that place can fit 5,000 people. 5,000, that is more than she could count at the moment. The National Theatre was shaped like a military hat, and it was the main centre for performing arts in Nigeria. Tambolo had so much fun looking at the different areas. She even watched a dance performance. So can you see, the National Theatre actually looks like a military hat. Can you see it? So next time you pass by, you know, just look at it. It's, it's, the architects that designed it actually did that, you know, on purpose. So. Then she visited this really old building called the First Story Building in Badagri. Who has been to Badagri before? You've been to Badagri, when? Two years ago, okay. You went to Tambolo, nice. <laughs> yeah, Tambolo learned a lot about its history. It was completely built in 1845. 1845, wow, it's very strong to last that long, Tambolo said. This is the most popular mission house in Badagri because the first set of missionaries in Nigeria settled in the building, the tour guide told her. And then she took a photo of the building. So she took a photo and where did she post it? Where do you think she posted the picture? Online where? No Instagram. Facebook. Next up, we have Olumo Rock in Abelkuta. Somebody said they've been to Ogun State before. Yes. 
Did you go to Lumorok? Yeah, so we all know this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Tambolo said to herself, Tambolo wondered why this rock was so special because she had plenty of them at home. So she was wondering, why would they bring us? I'm sure some of you were like, ah, why would they bring us all the way from Lagos to come and see a rock in Ogun State? Wow, it's huge, Tambolo said when she arrived. She learned that Olumorok protected their black people during intertribal wars in the 19th century. So when you visited, did they tell you about the history? Can you remember? Can you remember the low places where you could hide? And you took pictures? Yes. So this is the reason why it's a popular place. After Olumorok, she visited Okeado Awaye and Iyake Suspended Lake in Oyo State. Who can say that straight? Who can repeat what I just said? Okay. What is a suspended leak? Yes, nice. A suspended lake is a lake found at the top of a mountain and it's very unique. This is the only one of its kind in Africa and one of the two in the entire world. So write that down and tell people when you get to school. And maybe you tell your school to take you there. No one knows where the lake gets its water from or why it never runs dry. Tambolo read from my itinerary. So fun fact about the Iyake suspended lake is the water there never runs dry and it has always been like that. But you're not allowed to jump inside because I don't know what will happen to you. So when you go on excursion, just stay with your group. Tambolo found it to be very beautiful and peaceful. So what's our next stop? Oh, nice. Who has been to Kogosi before? You've been to Kogosi, okay. So our next stop was Ikogosi Warm Springs in Ekiti State, which has hot and cold water that does not mix. Do you know what that means? What does that mean? Who can explain? For someone that has visited Ikogosi, explain to us. I'm sure you can remember. Yeah. Did you, did you touch it? And then there was hot water beside it, right? And you didn't figure out where they mixed, right? Nice. This is amazing, Tambolo said, as she jumped into the spring. Tambolo did not realize that her own country was so much fun. So having, you know, read all this, did you realize that all these places were in Nigeria? So you know about it. But have you visited? No. Do you want to visit? Yes. So tell your school that Tambolo should take you there. <laughs> okay, so Idore Hills in Ondo State was the next place to visit. It is 3,000 feet above sea level and has gorgeous flora and fauna. This is paradise. Idore Hills and all of Nigeria, paradise. Tambolo shouted. What a beautiful time she had. Tambolo did not even feel tired. She wanted to see more, and so she went to four more places. Tambolo is really energetic, but yeah, let's see. She went to Oguta Lake, which is the largest lake in Imo State. Who knows Imo State? Somebody said they've been to Imo State here. No. It was a quiet bomb you said you've been to. Okay. So, do you know Imo State? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, when they ask you a fun fact about Imo State, you say, oh, that's where Oguta Lake is, and it's the largest lake in Imo State. But a fun fact about it is, can you see the picture? So, it's a big lake, and you know when you see lakes, the water is the same color. But this particular one, you have blue water and then brown water, and we don't know where they mix. It's fascinating. So yes, it's like your favorite sweet where one side is sweet and the other is sour. Tambolo said as her eyes widened at the sight. So you can see Tambolo's eyes popping out there. What is this? So what's our next destination? So it's called Owu Waterfall. Owu Waterfall. And it's in Kwara State. Have you heard of Kwara State? What have you heard about Kwara State? Your friend is from Kwara State, so when you see her in school, tell her that the, what's it called, the highest waterfall in West Africa is in Kwara State. So, 
Owo Waterfall in Kwara State, which was the next place she visited, was simply spectacular. It's the highest waterfall in West Africa. And all these places are in Nigeria. Oh. You see why we're the giant? After a wonderful day at the waterfall, spent swimming, dancing, and cooking, she decided to visit Zuma Rock the next day in Abuja. Who has been to Zuma Rock before? Or passed by Zuma Rock when they go to Abuja? You've not been to Abuja before? You've been to Abuja? Okay. Have you been to Abuja? Okay. So what do you know about Zuma Rock? It's a rock. Okay, so today you will learn more. Wow, this looks like a face. Tambolo exclaimed when she saw the rock. So when you, when you drive past Zuma Rock, if you actually stare clearly, it actually looks like a woman's face. She learned that during intertribal wars, the Zuma rock was used for protection from neighboring tribes. So one thing we noticed is that most of these rocks in Nigeria, you can see that people used to hide there during wars. After seeing the magnificent Zuma rock, she played a bit and took more photos for Instagram. And finally, what do we have on our list? We have... Say it again. <laughs> okay. Tambolo could feel actual tears falling down her cheeks. I don't want to, I don't want it to be over, she sobbed. Yankari Game Reserves is a big wildlife park located in Bauchi State. Have we heard of Bauchi State? Yes. Okay, so when people ask you, say, okay, that is where Yankari Game Reserves. So it's a safari, there are giraffes there, there are elephants there, a really beautiful place. And she saw springs, flora, fauna, and it was so beautiful. I love it here, Tambolo said as she explored the park. By the end of the day, Tambolo thought that this was the perfect place to conclude her first, but certainly not last trip around Nigeria. I love my country even more now, she said. Tambolo, Tambolo knew she would never forget this trip. The end. <laughs> Shikemi Ifederu. Shikemi is the founder of Tambolo, a travel company committed to creating life-changing experiences through travel in Africa. Her passion to showcase the beauty and richness of Africa to young children birthed the idea for the adventure with Tambolo. See a kada, she'll first go.